It's a small meadow. Mm-hmm. It has a stream running through it, and the grass is green, long. Mm-hmm. And there's rocks nearby. Beautiful place. What color? Do you see any flowers in this place? Yes, there's flowers. What color there. are these flowers? Yellow flowers. Yellow. Mm-hmm. I'd like for you to use your senses and tell me if you can feel any breeze or perhaps hear anything while you're there. The water. Mm-hmm. Where is this water coming from? Just a stream. Mm. It's coming down. I can't see where it's coming from. Let's see if we could follow the stream. I'd like for you to begin walking next to that stream and just tell me everything that's around you. What do you envision? It's cloudy. Mm-hmm. It's like nothing. It's a white mist. White mist. Where is this white mist? What's it covering? I think it's covering the earth. Mm-hmm. I don't see anything, but I feel like the earth, but I don't see anything. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you to imagine yourself lifting off farther from the ground and from a different perspective. Let's find out what this mist actually is. Describe it as you look on it from a different perspective. Well, I see myself coming off of a cloud like onto a shore, mm-hmm. sandy beach, and gentle waves. Feels like um, maybe a Pacific mm-hmm. island or something. Yes, uh huh. Tell me more. You say you've landed there. Do you feel you have a body? Yes. Mm-hmm. I feel like I have a body. All right. So tell me about this body. Look down at your feet. Brown. Um, uh, just brown. Masculine. Your feet are brown? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Human feet. Yes. Tell me more. Um, I see off in the distance a, 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 a pier like um, <laughs> that's um, made by native people, perhaps out of uh, I don't know if it's bamboo or mm-hmm. something. Uh, it's, like it's near a village uh, mm-hmm. um, with grass huts. All right. I don't see them, but I feel like they're there. So allow yourself to get closer to these huts, and let's see what's there. There's people, children, Mm. women, Mm. men. How are they dressed? Uh, The men have loin-type cloths, and the women are bare-breasted, and uh, they have loin cloths on, grass. Mm Mm-hmm. And look at yourself. How are you dressed? In the traditional way that these, these men are. Mm-hmm. Do you have anything in your hands, perhaps? Uh, there's something there, but it's uh, maybe a spear. Mm-hmm. Sure. Use your knowing. You'll know what it is. The first thing that comes is a spear. Wonderful. You're doing well. So let's find out what, what's going on in this place. What are you doing there? I'm just walk, I'm, I'm walking. Mm-hmm. I'm um, walking. There seems to be a lot of joy, um, happiness uh, in this village. And everyone's going their own way. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about that.
Tell me what. You just seem very happy and uh, happy go lucky, mm -hmm. healthy, uh, uh, close community, all working together as one. Mm -hmm. And what is your role in this community? I think I'm just a young man. And, mm -hmm. How uh, old do you feel? Uh, 20, 21. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's close that scene and now let's go to a scene in that same lifetime when something important is happening. See yourself there now. First thing that comes to mind is that I'm inside and I'm kneeling over someone. Mm-hmm. Let's find out who that is. It's a loved one. I'm not sure. It's, I think it's, it's a woman. Mm -hmm. Maybe my wife. You'll know the answer. Every yes, soul. It is, it is my wife. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what's going on with your wife. She's sick. Mm -hmm. She's sick. She's very beautiful, but she's sick, and I'm sad. I'm very heartbroken. It's just horrible. Take a look at your wife's eyes, the eyes of the window to the soul. Mm -hmm. See if you recognize that soul in the life of Dave. Yeah, it could be Pam. You'll know it. You'll feel it. Yeah. Allow yourself to connect now with that soul and feel the emotions. Oh, it's just so, it's just so sad. It's so broken. She's young. I'm young and she's young. What do you imagine is wrong with her? Why is she dying? She's ill. Mm -hmm. She's sick. I want you to ref reflect on yourself. How do you feel as you're next to her? What kind of feelings and emotions? I just can't do anything. Mm -hmm. I can't help. I'm a, I'm a provider. And I... Solve problems. I can't do anything. So that has, how does that make you feel about yourself? I feel bad about it. I feel angry that I'm not in control. I can't mm -hmm. help. I feel helpless. So let's find out what happens next. And she's left. Everyone's sad. How does the passing of this loved one affected you and your village? It's made everybody sad. This is a sad day. Mm hmm. We understand it and we get beyond it, but it's still very sad. Mm -hmm. There's just there's a lot of love in this community and we're all very close, so it hurts. Mm -hmm. How has that affected your heart? It's broken my heart. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to close that scene, and now let's go to another scene in your lifetime when something important is happening, impacting your life. Be there now.
Where are you? I don't see anything. Mm hmm So allow yourself to drift and allow the images to come. Connect with the feelings and connect with your wife that transitioned. I feel like I'm holding her. Mm -hmm. You're holding her. I'm still breathing. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm not able to let it go. Mm -hmm. How does that affect you and her? I think that it's heavy holding her back. Mm -hmm. So I want you to listen to her words to see how she feels about you holding her. You're saying you must let me go. It is my time. You have to let me go. How does that make you feel, having to let her go? It's so hard. Mm -hmm. I'm having a hard time. A hard time. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and advance that scene to see when you finally release her. What makes you release her finally? I just have to get up and leave the the hut and go outside and go out underneath the palm trees and the ocean and listen to the ocean mm -hmm. and grieve. So go ahead and do that now. And let's see what happens. People come to me and they try to console me. and tell me it's going to be all right and I, and I, I feel better. Their love helps me heal. It'll be all right. So now you can advance from that scene going to another important day in that same lifetime. What happens now in your life? I feel like I'm laying down. I'm old. Mm -hmm. How old, old do you feel there? I feel gray. I feel thin and weary and old. Just um, it's time for me to go. Mm -hmm. There are people around, loved ones, and they're all sad. How are you feeling? Sad. Mm hmm. What's going through your mind as you're lying there with your loved ones? I'm sad that I'm leaving them. I don't want to go. Mm hmm Why don't you want to go? Oh, it's just so much love. Mm hmm So much caring, so much cooperation, so much community. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and take your last breath in that lifetime and transition out of that body. And as you do, you'll be able to see that life from a different perspective. You'll know the purpose of that lifetime. What was the purpose? To immerse myself in, in love and, and be a part of community and enjoy life, enjoy, enjoy the earth. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you succeeded in that? Yes. Mm -hmm. so. so what lessons did you learn from that lifetime? I learned that I need to let go mm -hmm. of the loved ones and not hold on. Let go of the loved ones, yes. And learn how to 
love others mm -hmm. openly without reservation. Very good. So I'd like for you to continue your transition and let me know where you go after this. Where does your soul go? I'm going up, mm -hmm. up and down. I'm meeting my my guide. What does your guide look like? Uh, what does your guide represent himself or herself as? I'm not quite sure if it's a man or a woman. In there. Use your Use your guidance, your inner guidance. What does it feel like? It's a man mm -hmm. in a robe. <laughs> mm. <laughs> What's he say to you? He said, welcome back. Mm -hmm. We missed you. What's your guide's name? Joe. Joe? Joseph. Joseph. So what does Joseph say now to you? What's the next thing that happens? Go and enjoy yourself for a while. Be with your soulmates and enjoy and relax. So where do you go? I go to to a group of friends. Mm -hmm. I don't see them, but that's what's coming. Mm -hmm. They're very happy and laughing and it's very fun, lots of joy. I'm just not used to that kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. So soak that feeling in. Allow yourself to immerse in that feeling <sighs> of love and joy and happiness. Mm-hmm. Fill well, your entire essence with that feeling. Yeah, it's so powerful, so wonderful. Mm-hmm. Allow it to be absorbed by every cell in your body. Thank you. Thank you. And as you enjoy that beautiful sensation, I'd like for you to focus on yourself and see how you represent yourself in that realm. What do you, would you look like in that realm? I, I look like a happy being. Mm -hmm. um, love everyone, be part of them, and care about them. Mm -hmm. And inquisitive, uh, industrious. I mean, what's the next challenge? Let's, let's, let's go, let's do it. Let's. So let's find out. Let's go to the time when you're meeting and planning your next life. Let's meet with your guides or your counsel and see yourself there. There's four, four beings. Mm -hmm. uh, you see them very really well, but we have a sense of humor. Are they male or female? I think one's a female and the other a male, maybe four altogether. Mm-hmm. How do they represent themselves? Do they have a physical body? Yeah, they're sort of physical, but I don't, I can't see real clearly. Maybe robes, um, I don't see clearly. Mm-hmm. But I feel their essence. And some are stricter than others, and mm -hmm. others are very carefree. And I <laughs> lighten up, guys. Uh -huh. It's going to be all right. So, what are they telling you? Uh, what is this meeting about? It's going to be a challenge. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a challenge, and you better be ready, buddy. Mm -hmm. This isn't going to be a walk in the park. So let's find out from them why you need a challenging life. It's time. It's time and you need to help. You need to be there. It's what's, what's, important. What's going to happen at this time? 
Well, there's been a the upheaval of change. Like nothing else before. It's important. Very important. And it's to be taken seriously. So put away your jolly. <laughs> Let's get to work, my friend. So what is it going to take for you to help in this lifetime? It's going to take a lot of love from them, a lot of guidance, a lot of power. Mm-hmm. But I'm determined. So I how do you, I want to help. How is it that you prepare yourself mentally, emotionally for this job? Are you taught anything? I've done studies. Mm -hmm. I've studied. I've worked hard. What kind of studies did you go to? I reviewed what lives are like, what's important in life, what are, what's the most important things, and what's challenges that there could be. There's many different things that can happen, and. Uh, one has to be ready and strong. Mm -hmm. So who is assisting you on this journey? Are there other souls that are going with you? I don't see anybody going with me, but... Ask your my guides. guides. My guides are there. Mm -hmm. How many guides do you have? Five. Mm -hmm. Do they have names? Joshua... Jonathan, Beatrice, mm -hmm. uh, Bernard, mm -hmm. Carl. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, how are these, this group going to help you? Can you be with me? Mm -hmm. You're going to help me. Just give me the energy and the love, mostly the love, because. I'm going to go into a place where I'm not going to be loved. Mm -hmm. Are you cho choosing to go into this place, or is it chosen for you? I'm choosing it. Mm -hmm. You want to do it. And how are you choosing this, these people in your lives? I don't see a... A view of them, but I just have a knowing mm -hmm. at this moment that it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Have you known these beings before uh, in other lifetimes? I think so. Mm -hmm. I think they're part of my soul group. We've gone together and decided this is important mm -hmm. and we need to do it. It's not going to be pretty. So let's find out why at this time you need you need to go back. It's to be of service mm -hmm. to others. That's what it's all about. To, to be of service. To be of service. Mm -hmm. We're all together. We're all white. Mm -hmm. We're all white. We're all beautiful. But I forget. I forget. And what happens next? I forget. I'm born. I'm mm. born. It's not too good a feeling. What happens when you're born? I don't feel I'm wanted. I'm coming into a situation that's tough and not wanted here. How does that make you feel? It feels determined. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. I've got to do it. Just take a big deep breath and let's go. Mm -hmm. 
Now, when you're born, do you still see your guides around you? They're there. Mm -hmm. What They're are they there. telling you? Be tough. Be tough. It's going to be all right. It's going to be fine. You'll see. Uh, the vibration is intense. The love is there. Mm -hmm. My whole body is shaking. Thank you. Thank you for being there. Thank you. Thank you. So I'd like for you now to go drifting and floating until another place and another time. Another memory that's been affecting you. Be there now. Where are you? I see myself at the trial. Mm-hmm. I'm standing, standing before all the crowd. Mm-hmm. Tell me what's going on there. Feel judgment. Mm -hmm. I feel everyone judging me negatively. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to use your own soul's perspective to look around and see where that judgment is actually coming from. Where is it coming from? It's coming from me. Mm -hmm. Do you I just see my? I just see darkness in myself. Mm hmm. It's grayish, dark, sort of. Yeah. Mm hmm. Do you realize that all of those who are standing judging you are a mirror of yourself? A mirror of what you're feeling about yourself? Yes. Mm hmm. I can't forgive myself. So I'd like for you also to look around the room and see who is there from your guides. The judge. Mm-hmm. Maybe part of the jury. Mm-hmm. Let's find out. Maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. The IRS guy, maybe. Mm-hmm. So let's find out what your guides were doing at that trial. What were they there to teach you and to help you with? Love yourself. Mm -hmm. You are love. Love myself. I don't know how that, that lesson is going to do from this, but uh, I know, I know. This is the awakening. This is finding out who I really am. That I'm not this egoic body that thinks there is no that thinks there is There is no love, that there is there's no higher being, that there's no source, that there is a source, that there is a God, that it is all love, and it's been kept from you, and that is why we are there to put you in prison to to have this indictment so that you would awaken because it's about time you need to be of help this is the point you need to wake up and learn who you really are to be and to let everybody else know who they are to remember 
who they really are underneath all of that chunk, that veil. And the beautiful veil, but it's, it's time to remove it. It's time to be one again. So what is the best way that Dave can be of service to others? What's his purpose here? You need to go out, or you need to get out of the, the woods. You need to get out of the woods in a sense. It doesn't mean you need to live the woods because you love the woods. You love the trees. You love nature. You connect with them. You are them. They will always be there. It's all right. What you need to spread, you need to touch people. Get your egoic self out of the way and touch and feel and don't be afraid. Let go of the damn fear. Let go and let it be there. Open up. Quit hiding. Be who you are. You are strong. You are beautiful. You are love. Get the hell out, my friend. So, it is time. You are wasting time. Get out and be love. You are love. So where should he be going to accomplish this? Where your heart leads you, stupid. <laughs> of course you know it. <laughs> you know you you know it. Okay. Quincy. <laughs> All right, okay. You've picked the name Quincy. Mm -hmm. You've looked at the the map, you've looked at the Q H H T people. There's nobody there. There'll be plenty of work to do. They will come. It will happen. Just let it be. Let the open doors open. <laughs> <laughs> of course you need, you know this and you're here to verify it, but thank God you're awake, my friend. We need you. We need you now. It is important. So how are the people going to find him? <laughs> they will. They will. There will be time. They'll just gradually. It's not going to be overnight. Mm -hmm. But the word will get out. People will know. They will look at you. Mm -hmm. Your voice is the key. You have a gentle voice that nobody can hear. You maybe have to speak up, but you speak with love. Let that gentle, gentle soul, so gentle, so loving, beloved David, let that love touch them and be that love. And that's all you ever, ever have to worry about. Be love, period. Let that ego go. It, it gets in the way. And you know it. Just tune in. Let it go. Don't think so much. What's the best way to get the ego out of the way and connect with the higher self? Meditate. Uh -huh. Eat right. The trees. Ground. You do grounding all the time. You know. You know. Right? Just ground yourself. The grounding blanket is important. You know that it heals your pain from your back. You know that the earth is important. That we com we we communicate with it, and it is. And the earth is love, pure love. And you and you know that. Just continue to be. Walk that path, my friend. We're there, you know it. Walk it, walk it, walk it. Elba is here to help you, to guide you, to s listen to her. Listen. Listen. Listen to her and let it open. Let yourself open and listen and be and be and be. She knows the way. She is our 
guide to you. Just listen, you will communicate with her. She will help you. It is so. Thank you. Thank you, Elba. Thank you. You have this connection with her. You Thank know you. it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Would you tell him who his guides are at this time? Joseph. Joseph. Benjamin. Mm -hmm. Carl. Mm -hmm. Anita. Mm -hmm. And Ralph. And Ralph. <laughs> what do they want to tell him today? Go, boy. <laughs> Go. Come on now. This is your chance to shine. This is your chance you've been waiting for all your life. You know it's been leading to this. Go out, my friend. You are so much joy. You have a playful side that you've been hiding. And you know and you want to let out joy. And you want to be joyful and play and be happy. And you want to dance. And you've been holding back. Oh, let go, let go, and go, and go, and dance, and enjoy this life. Thank you. Very good. Would you explain to him what happened to him at his father's bedside? We were there. Mm -hmm. This was us. We came through. He had awakened. We wanted to let him know you're on the right path my friend mm -hmm. we are here we are love and you that you know what that love is that it's just so unbelievable and you and you needed to know you needed to feel it and you wanted to go back mm -hmm. and of course you tried to do it in many ways the, uh, the, the vision thing the quest or you know leaving your body and <laughs> you got the recorders and we were going to let you and you tried, and of course you are a workaholic trier, and what they what they deemed a overachiever, like duh, <laughs> what a stupid name. You were achieving exactly what you were supposed to. You work hard. You are powerful. You just needed to not go there. You needed to be grounded until now. Mm -hmm. So you just needed to walk that prison life because you couldn't have functioned otherwise. Mm -hmm. Those guys would have beaten the shit out of you. <laughs> They're not ready for you, my friend. They are not ready. We protected you in so many instances. You have no idea they were going to just kill you, rape you, destroy you. So now he knows. I know. I, mm -hmm. I, I know. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, so does I didn't he, need it. I had enough. So did, does he need to continue working or thinking or being fearful about his future? Now knowing that he could have no, been... No, but there's still something there. All right. What's keeping him... All right. What's this fear that's in there? There's something in his back. All right. Can we speak to that, please? It's been a pain in the back. Mm-hmm. Would you allow me to bring that energy up? Yes. All right. So I'm going to take my hands and bring that energy up, 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 up. Good evening. Yes. Are you male or female energy? No, a woman. Okay. What's your name, please? Julia. Julia, what are you doing there in his back? I'm just being a pain. I see that. Julia, how old are you? 43. Mm-hmm. And what year is it for you, Julia? 1492. 1492. So how is it that you lost your, your life, Julia? They, they crucified me in a way. They, I see, I'm, uh, that comes to mind. I'm burning, uh, being burnt. Mm -hmm. For what reason? I was trying to get the message out. Mm -hmm. uh, no, you better be careful, my friend. What message you give out? Mm -hmm. So what was going? You will be burned at the stake. 
So is that why you connected with him? Because he was doing the same thing that you were? Yeah, he was... Yes, he was powerful and he... Mm-hmm. So, Julia, <laughs> Julia, why is it that you didn't go to the light? Why didn't you go back I home? I needed a message. I, I don't know if I'm waiting. I was angry. I yeah. was pissed off, mm-hmm. you know, like I'm trying to help out and what do you do? You burn me at the stake. It doesn't feel good. So why did you attach to him? Uh, he, was to, he, was to, he was on this crusade bullshit. Mm-hmm. Like... Get over it, dude. This you don't you don't know what the hell you're doing. There's there's no what God. There's no God. They burn you at the stake. Forget it. Mm-hmm. I'm you, resentful. I I see that. Uh, this is I'm pissed off. So how you know? are you making him feel? You try to do something right, and you and you mess you. you know. Mm-hmm. How are you affecting Dave? I'm holding him back from doing what. Spreading his joy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he doesn't understand what it's really like. Julia, would yeah. you want to feel better? You've been you've been suffering for a long time, angry for yes. a long time. Yeah. Would you like me to good. help you? <sighs> you Grudgingly, don't. I'll do it. Do what you say, Elva. Well, I'd like for you to look inside of yourself, Julia. At one time, you believed in a creator, did you not? Yes, I believe. And that creator left a mark. That 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 little mark has been left in your heart. Look inside, and you'll see the spark there. I'm just hurt. Yes, I Mm -hmm. I feel it now. I want you to use your intention and grow that spark up. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And tell me, as it gets bigger, how is it making you feel? Okay, I feel okay. Well, make it even bigger then. If you're not feeling great, make it feel bit much bigger. Make it as bright as the sun. I do feel lighter now. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Now, Julia, I'd like for you to do something for me. I'd like for you to go back in time to when you were being burned at the stake. Yes. And we're going to reverse that. And as you watch that scene, I want you to go ahead and begin changing the outcome of that scene. And tell me how you change the outcome. I feel no pain because mm-hmm. they put me up. I love everyone. Mm-hmm. But they know not what they do. Mm-hmm. I forgive them. It's yeah. all right. Very I good. Know. I, Very good. I so I've not been angry. I, I just got angry. So now, Julia, how is it that you are affecting him physically? What's he feeling? There's pain in his arm and it, mm-hmm. it hurts him and it Holds him back from feeling joy. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you now to use that beautiful white light that you've grown to be so magnificent mm-hmm. and send that white light into that space where you were so long. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, and through his whole body. Through his whole body. So send it. Send that white light of yours now through his whole body. And as you do that, I'm going to call the angels of the white light to come surround you, Julia. Hi, guys. <laughs> and tell me what they say. It's about time, my friend. Mm-hmm. We love you. Very good. So, yes. Julia, what would you like to tell David before you leave? David. I'm so sorry. Take a deep it breath. Mm-hmm. It wasn't right. Uh, it was not right. I was... I was wrong. Please forgive me. Mm-hmm. So take a deep breath in. David, what would you like to tell Julia? It's all right. It's okay. All right. So let's send her lots of love. And Julia, go ahead through the crown of his head. Archangel Michael is there waiting for you. Mm-hmm. Take him by the hand. And he's going to take you straight up to source, back home. And tell me when you get there. 
I'm there. Tell me what's there. Who's there to greet you? My guides. Mm-hmm. My guides. And they say, I'm sorry, you were lost. Very good. Julia, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. And let me speak with the higher self again. Yes, Olga. Thank you very much. Thank you. He's got questions about what's going to happen, about the eclipse. What's going on with the eclipse? Yes, the eclipse. What's happening with that? If you want, you can go underneath it and open yourself to it and let the energy of the planet, planets and the moon and the sun and the earth combine. There'll be a flow of energy that all should take part in and they should all know this. This is important. It will help the earth and its grids of energy will make it more powerful and get through this change. It is important. Be there or be square. <laughs> now what happens if you're not in the area of this eclipse? It can you be take fine. Yes. How you, can you what can you do? You just imagine yourself there. Mm -hmm. Open yourself up and imagine yourself being there and um Open to your higher self and meditate and let the ego go and just let it flow and feel that energy flowing from out in the universe, that central core energy through the sun, the moon and the other planets all together going into this bright stream of white light beautiful 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 be there think there it is a change point it is a switch so what are we switching let to that light open and light the earth up mm -hmm. to energize it everywhere to every person all the billions of souls awoken not awoke awoken in the ETs and the entities and the crystal beings we're all here it is time my friends it is time thank God this is important for all you must listen be there it's important let your love out and let it connect with all feel the connection all this open your arms and reach out your energies flowing through your arms and hands and head and feet become energy itself you are energy. You are perfect, every single one of you. And you know it. Be it. Now. Now is the time. Do not hesitate. We love you. We are here. Everyone, all are here watching. We are smiling down at you. Fear not. Let the fear go. Let the fear go. It doesn't mean anything. It was only to help you forget and it's time to remember. Remember the joy, the happiness, the connection. Quit the suffering. Put down your burdens. Yes, it is said. Thank you. Now they talk about the shift. 
Yes, 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 thank God. It's been a long time coming, and it has been delayed. And the dark ones, they're still there, but they're getting smaller and they're losing. But you can't count them out. They're very tricky. <laughs> they are tricky. Um, I think we must bless them in one way because they bring the polarity, the duality, the white and the light. We wouldn't know what joy we are. We have to feel that dark side to see how bright that light is. So we forgive them and we thank them for their part, their role. We do not crucify them. We just stop them. We hold them back. It's time to stop. You don't need to do this anymore. Let's go forward now and let your souls open up. You need to see the light. You need to change. It's time. If you want to, if you don't, that's, that's all up to you, my friends. But it's there for you, it's there for the taking. Go for it, buddies. You, you know what's inside. You know there's that spark. Elba speaks of it always and often, and she sees it. She sees it in everybody. It's there, it's in you. You too, little reptilians. You think you're so big, so mighty, and you don't smell so good to us, but get over it, dude. You're just a little speck of nothing. You have a soul inside you. You've got sparks. Let it go. You can see it. <laughs> it's, don't hide it under your cloak of nastiness. Yes. Okay, Earth. We are with you. We are heaving. There's so much crap all over everywhere you look. We're going to change it. We're going to change it. We're going to change it, make it better. Heal. Thank you. Thank you. David asks about the law of one channeling. Yes, I feel good vibrations from it. Mm -hmm. Is it authentic and accurate? I think it is authentic, and it was channeled by some uh, higher entity beings that were trying to communicate, and they felt sorry for the nastiness they brought. Mm -hmm. People should read it. It's not necessarily 100%, but it's, it was channeled through a good being, mm -hmm. and um, I feel, I see white light in it. Mm -hmm. I see there's a message. And it's part of the awakening for them to read it and to understand what's really going on, what's really happening at this time. And uh, the cycles of the earth and why it is so important for the earth to arise now. It's been through its three-dimensional cycle, ready for the fourth. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's ready. Wonderful. Thank you. He has a question about the plasma energy technology. He wants to know if that works. Yes, it's good. It is the future. It's part of their future. And mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Kesh, mm -hmm. Dr. Kesh or whatever, mm -hmm. he's a wild and crazy guy, but he's onto something. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, that intention. Of course, we can create anything we want with our intention, but um, this helps. It is part of the universe, this mm -hmm. magnetic gravitational force. Uh, it's not being taught at all. Do you see Dave being part of this? Or will he be going into a different direction? Uh, I think he does. The hypnosis thing is important. He okay. needs to touch their soul. He needs to open them up. Good. But he needs to let them know that there are these things, just like meditation, mm -hmm. crystals, there's augmentations that we can use to help. And it's different. These augmentations are different. Um, Eduardo, I think, had a video about 
meditation and, and facing the east and, mm -hmm. uh, getting in touch with the earth and sitting straight and uh, I, I, I like that people can do that that's that's good very good. good but it's not necessary for everybody but David likes it good and he, he feels that so whatever resonates with him yes. he should go for good yes. He has a question about the timeline for disclosure. Can you tell him about that? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, see, I think he asked from a non-egoic place. He really wants mm -hmm. to know, well, uh, from what I see, it's going to be happening soon. Um, mm -hmm. This awakening is not far off, and he, he senses that, he knows that, and he's said that. So how will that affect him? 2018, mm -hmm. it's going to begin, and uh, you better be ready for it. Dolores Cannon mentioned it, that uh, he was a big surprise is coming, and mm -hmm. yes, there's so much crap that <laughs> we've been slaves to these powers, mm -hmm. and it all sounds crazy. So how can one prepare for that? Well, the chaos is their key, mm -hmm. and there's the key to open up. It is the key to awaken, if you like. It's there, and you just need to go out and search. Once you feel that people feel helpless and want to kill themselves and want to just end it all and want to give up. That's the time to get tough. The tough get going, and you need to just look and open up and ask your higher self. Ask for help. Mm -hmm. And we're here. We're all here. We're huge. We're mighty. We're pfft, you are nothing. We can help you, but you have to ask. You, you just have to say, please help me. I need your help, and you will be helped. You will be guided things will open for you. And let the damn doors open. Don't let that ego get the way, out of the way in the questioning of, well, that just sounds crazy. <laughs> go for it. Let yourself go. You know internally. You know. You know. You know. Let it go. Let it be. It is time. And we can make beautiful, 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 beautiful rainbow skies beauty like you've never seen. You won't understand the hell you've been living in. It is paradise. Paradise, you have no concept. Will we be seeing this paradise in our physical bodies? Oh yes, oh mm -hmm. yes, oh yes. Of course the body's a little bit different because our energy's higher. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it won't be the same. We'll be, of course, we'll be lighter. The vibration will be different. Be, you know, we'll be, the gravitational forces won't be so tough. Mm -hmm. And all that negativity is gone. My God, the fear. We are living in so much fear of everything, everything. Everywhere you go, you see fear. Every little thing causes us fear. And it's been programmed. I mean, we don't blame you. It's what it's for. That's the polarity, but it's time, my friends. Who's going to shift that programming? We're all trying to help. Mm. All of the beings, all of the universe is really focusing here. Sounds crazy, don't it? Mm -hmm. But it's here. A lot, of, a lot of people are concerned that if they're going to be going to this new earth, some are afraid that their loved ones won't be going Just with them. Just fear their loved ones are always with them. Get over it. We're all <laughs> one, you know. We, mm -hmm. We're together. We're we, read. Go to the internet. There's all kinds of stuff about afterlife. Afterlife 101 is a wonderful place, mm -hmm. perhaps just to begin. Mm -hmm. Elva has all the answers right there. Hello, <laughs> you guys, but just don't be afraid and don't, what it is is the criticism and they're going to tell you you're some th uh, conspiracy theorist. This ain't no, this is, the only conspiracy is they're saying that it's a conspiracy. You open yourself up. 
imagine. Mm. Let it go. You are pure love. You know this. You have felt love in your life, and you know how special it is. Just embrace that and try to bring it into your life, always. Wonderful. Thank you. Would you do a body scan on him, please? Something in his arm, something mm. in his elbow. What's going on there? What is the stiffness? We have a mucky, gunky, gray sh shit. Mm -hmm. Don't know what it is. Holding him back. Okay. Can we go in there and bring that gunky stuff up? Yeah, I feel let's, you moving out. Mm, let's move him out, 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 and let's find out why he's there. Good evening. Carlotta. Carlotta. That's me. Carlotta. What do you want? Carlotta, how long have you been there? Long enough. Carlotta, how old are you? 23. Mm, what year is it for you, Carlotta? Six. 1660. 1660. That's a long time to be there, Carlotta. No, I've been other places. Oh, you Why did you jump into him? He's a dumbass sometimes. Ah, I see. <laughs> so how does it feel to be in control of him? That's the, that's the program. Mm. What do you do to him to make you feel so smart? I doubt himself. Mm -hmm. I mean, hold him back. Mm. He wants to be all this love crap. You never felt love, Carlotta? Not really. Carlotta, what, ha life. what happened to you? It was mean. Just everyone around was mean. Just just a horrible lifetime and uh, love, uh, no love, just poverty and hate and uh, starvation. I died starving to death. Hmm. Not enough. Not enough, and he believed in abundance. He was, he created abundance all the time. Piss me off, that abundance crap. Get over it. That's why I, I, I came in and caused all this pain and disabled his arm, and he still found a way to connect to Earth. Mm. <laughs> Son of a bitch went around me. But I kept on. I'm still there. Carlotta, would you like to feel better? It seems to me like you've been mis living a miserable life. I just, I too, I want to, I'm tired of this crap. Mm -hmm. I, Wouldn't it be I nice to go home? Yes. All right. So, Carlotta, go inside of yourself and op find that little spark of light inside of you. That light is your connection to the Creator. Yes. I now, see. now open it up. Okay. Bigger and bigger and bigger. Have it fill your entire... Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Make it because as big. Because, man... Make it... Been, uh, Make it big, Carlotta. Make you it big. You don't know what I've been through. That's okay. You're still going to be It's been so loved. hard. It's going to be easier now. I feel it. Okay, you're doing it. But All right, okay. okay Fill okay, up okay. your whole essence with all that right. light. Okay, all right, all right. And feel <laughs> yourself. Feel yourself filling up. You little... <laughs> okay, all right. Mm. You're pretty strong. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Open okay, it okay. up. Thank you. Open up that light. Sorry. That light is very powerful, Carlotta. I'm sorry, David. Fill it up. Fill okay. it up. Okay. Make it as big as you are and even bigger. And tell me how that feels to be that pure yeah, white light. Just floating away. Mm-hmm. As you float away, take all of that energy from his float body. Away. And we're not going to float too far. I want Archangel Michael to take you by the hand, Carlotta. What would you like to tell David before you leave? <laughs> Good luck. Go, go forward, my friend, now. All right. So, Carlotta, we want you to go forward, and let's go home to where you'll feel that love. Archangel Michael will take you there, and tell me who's there to greet you, please. Hmm, I'm dancing in the street. Hmm. In the good times. Wonderful. Were you a dancer? It's a celebration of... Uh, you know, you had a tough time, and mm. you did as well as you could. 
I could not have been expected to do more. Thank you. Wonderful. Carlotta, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. And what other part of the body do you see where he has any other shadows? Anything else? The prostate. Okay, what's going on in the prostate? Mm, this gray matter. Gray matter. Let's bring that gray matter up. Up, 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 up. Good evening. Who's there? Bert. Bert. Bert, how long have you been there? Midlife. Midlife. How did you? Why did you attach to David? Fear. He had feared that he might get prostate cancer. Um. Everybody else gets it, don't they? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't. <laughs> so tell me, why you attached to him? He opens himself up. Mm. He allowed it to be. Was it because of that I think fear? It was trauma as a kid. He got bounced around mm -hmm. pretty bad. Yes. And um, I guess that's before midlife, isn't it? But uh, I, see, I see him on the floor. He got thrown so hard against the wall, he put a dent in the wall board. There's a big spot where his head hit the wall. <laughs> So did that and make him vulnerable? There, like, did that know, make him vulnerable? For me, I'm a, I'm, I've been picked on again. Bert, did that make him vulnerable? Yeah, he was right for the picking. All right. So, Bert, what happened to you that you lost your body? Somebody killed me. In what way? I didn't see it. A knife. Where did they stab you? In the back. Mm -hmm. What happened to you after you transitioned out of that body? Where did you go? I just followed. I was just lost. Mm -hmm. I just lost. They didn't know what the hell to do. It was just dark. Mm -hmm. It was dark, and then I saw a light in David, mm -hmm. and I uh, uh, follow this light. Bert, what year is it for you? 1956. Mm -hmm. And how old are you? How old is David? Or how old are you? I'm 42. Mm -hmm. So you're pretty young. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not, uh, you know, sort of. You didn't get to live your full life. No. Would you get a chance? Would you like to get a chance to begin okay. anew again? All right. All right. So we're going to use that light that's connected to the Creator to make you very big. Find that little white light inside of you, making it bigger and bigger as you focus on it. And tell me what sensation you feel as that white light takes over your mm -hmm. whole body. It feels good. Good. Very good. So now that you're this white light, is there any need for you to hang out with this man? Uh, Seems pointless, yeah, doesn't it? I guess so. He was, he was a nice guy. Yeah, but wouldn't it be nice to finally be home with yeah, everyone that you've ever loved? All right. To be, I need to but before you go, I'd like for you to go back into that life where you could see your time. body, and I'd like for you to go ahead and use that white light and heal that body, heal that knife wound. And as you heal that knife wound, tell me how it affects your body. Well, I had it coming to me. I was, mm -hmm. I was, I was bad. I deserved it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but you don't deserve to no, leave I, I here with a... Realize, so. All right, so go ahead and heal that body with that white light so that you don't go home with that injury still lurking. We don't want anybody else in the future, as your future life, to feel that pain. No. So when you're ready, I'm going to ask the, the angels of the white light to surround you. 
And we're going to have them escort you home. Go up through the crown of his head, please. Archangel Michael is there. And they're going to straight take you straight to the light, back to source. Tell me who's there to greet you. My guys. Very good. What do they say to you? You don't know, listen, buddy. <laughs> Bert, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. And now let me speak with the higher self and ask if there's anything else in his body that he needs to take care of today. Focus on his eyes, on his vision, his knees. Uh, there's something going on with his knee. It doesn't seem dark. What is that? Take a look at it and see if it's something that he may have created. I think, I think he did. I think he created this, um, mm -hmm. doing, trying to do too much. All right. So what, what can we do to transform that into something else? How can we use that to transform that energy there? Well, it just tells that it, there are limitations and you need to take care of yourself and don't you know, not worry about others and trying to provide. You just need to treat yourself better, my friend. So does he need to have that little bump anymore? No. Very good. So would you begin dissolving that now that he understands the reason why it's there? Yes. Thank you. What's causing the dry eyes and the vision change? I don't, I'm not sure. Let's find the origin of that. Something about... Something clouding his vision. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what's clouding his vision. The body always gives a message to him. What's the message that the body is trying to give him? Look within and not... Not without. Mm-hmm. So once he begins meditating more and looking within, can we go ahead and begin correcting the eyes? See yourself different. See yourself as different. Okay. Okay, very good. Yeah. And what about the dry mouth at night? What's causing that? This needs to let things flow. Mm -hmm. Let it all out. Let it flow. Let yourself open up. And be yourself. Have no fear. You are perfect as you are. Wonderful. Can you begin healing his mouth now? Yes. Thank you. What about the hypoglycemia? What's causing that? I don't know. I don't know. Seems to be eating more. Mm hmm. What's the message the Bobby is trying to give him? It's balance. Balance, all balance. right. Balance. You need to balance your life. You have to have pleasure and work. You just work. Mm -hmm. So what would you like to suggest to David about his work and his play? What should he be doing more of? <laughs> Go back out and dance. Mm, good. <laughs> Go dance, my friend. Wonderful. Find somebody to dance with. Just dance. Let it out. Be joyful. Be playful. Wonderful. Would you check his energy centers, his chakras, and see if they're blocked or any of them need alignment today? A little haze between the eyes. Mm -hmm. His third eye is Blocked. Yeah, it seems to be. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that is. 
it seems to be affecting what comes out is like is like affecting the whole shoot and match mm -hmm. because he's worked with visualization and colors yes. uh, very diligently very hard to open everything up and there seems to be something stagnant there. all right so can we please connect with his innate his system his body system okay. and let's find out what the body is telling him it'll come now that you have love everything will open to you what? with that love everything will happen it will come and you will see more part of what we've done is block it because if you saw too much you would get a little bit take carried away <laughs> you just need to take Dampen it just a little bit. All right. Does he need it dampened now? No. Would you please sure. open that third eye? Yes. Thank you. Yes. And while you're doing that, is there any other chakra that need we need working on today? Feels good. Wonderful. I think it's fine. How can he do this on his own? Meditate. Be grounded. Mm -hmm. Eat lots of veggies. Fruits okay. And eggs are okay for you. It yeah. may not be for everyone, but for you it's fine. What about the kefir? The kefir is good. The kefir is life. Mm -hmm. The kefir is life. But don't use the crap that they, the milk they sell. Get it from the cow. Mm, okay. The cow gives it to you, the energy. Are these cows that he knows? Well, they'll be cows in <laughs> for him. His cows thank him and mm -hmm. and cherish him and uh, relate to him and mm -hmm. they were one. Good. What about the organic wheat? Yeah, I I, I see it's all right. Just make sure that wheat, not much, not much of it. Mm -hmm. And to grind it, you grind it yourself and make sure you bake it and put the love and the intention into it. It's the baking and love's intention into it that's even more important than anything. That is the key to all food. How you prepare it? The but love. that love, you know, yes. and sending it and, and appreciating it and saying, thank you, Earth. My God, you've gone to such extent, so much love under such dire circumstances. My God. And you're just tough as nails, girl, and you just bring it to us. So beautiful, so beautiful. <laughs> is there anything else that you would like to tell him today go forth my friend be happy be joyful that's all you need to know that you are light you are one with us and we are there always that's all you need to do focus you will you're, you've been sent you've gone through the journey you have arrived enjoy do you have a message to the world? I love you, all of you. The, the switch is going to be thrown. Be ready, my friends. We are there for you. It's going to be fine. Your fears are nothing. Just specks of nothing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do I have to? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. How are you feeling? Oh, we get, oh, we get. <laughs> and I'm just worried about whispering <laughs> 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 because I'm so soft-spoken. No one ever hears. <laughs> you did great, my dear. Fantastic job. How long do you feel you're on this journey? Not long. How Half long did hour. It, That's how long it felt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Honestly. We're at a, an hour and 40-something minutes, 48 Holy minutes. Holy right? Kalitos. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, what a journey. Incredible, huh? Oh, what a journey. These people have to do this. Oh. <laughs> you did great. Just let yourself go. It's, it is. Thank you. You're welcome. So you want to share parts of this? Absolutely. How do you feel?
I've been on a journey, a trip. Yeah. Um, yes. I, the big thing for me was just to follow your voice, to listen mm-hmm. to you and not listen to anything else but you. Because you want, for me anyway, I wanted to listen to something else. Yeah. And I got distracted. And um, but I just the voice, the voice, the voice, just listen, listen, listen. Even yeah. though it may feel like, well, I don't really, you know, want to go there. I question. Just follow. Just do. Just follow the voice. Her mm-hmm. voice. Her voice. Her voice. And you'll be, you'll be fine. Let go. And you did great. You did great. You did great. You're the one, girl. And the and the help. The help. And the help. Big help. Yeah, Huge. you had you had Huge. you had very strong. Higher self there coming through. Whoa. Right? Crazy. It's amazing. It's crazy. So it's crazy. tell everybody how it feels to be in hypnosis. What did it feel like? It feels normal in a way. <laughs> there you go. Uh huh. Yeah. But. But what was what, different? But the point is just to the first thing that comes to mind. Mm-hmm. And when you yeah. you ask a question, you just lead and yeah. just just whatever comes to mind. And it's not going to be. It wasn't clear for me at all. And I didn't mm-hmm. see images like like some of the people that are that are much more <laughs> advanced than, than but I. You but you did very well. Oh, it's perfect. I'm sure from mm-hmm. perfect the way it is. But yeah, um, yeah, no, I, I, it was uh, everything I could have ever asked for. And, and, so and how do you? Well. How would you tell? people how to prepare for this mm. well, the same old saying is meditate and try to get that ego that ego itself that monkey on your back that's <laughs> powerful but mm. don't let it be just you just meditate and um, and, and visualization I think helps in medit- for, for, mm-hmm. for me for, for mm-hmm. meditation and the more you practice it the better I became and yeah. listening to your tapes of, on the meditation mm-hmm. and following you through and then sitting in that on the bench with somebody and then the lights and mm-hmm. I did that several times and, and I got helped. better at it and Very better good. at it because you will just follow her voice mm-hmm. and, and that's part of the key to kind of practice it a little bit before mm-hmm. you get here and um, and be yourself and do not worry because you're in wonderful hands and you are guided. So tell everybody what you're going to be doing now. I'm going to be doing hypnosis and it's not hypnosis, it's connecting, allowing, be a facilitator, mm-hmm. you know, to, uh, to open you yourself up mm-hmm. to the things that you need to and that you've been waiting for all of your life and um, the person that's doing it is not the important one you are all mm-hmm. you you do it all yourself so yes. you're not yeah, that's right it's, that's it's, right it's, it's you and you just but you're just letting yourself you to come forward that's right yeah. and we so, hold ourselves back with that, that thing and you know that, no, you, all that thing and, and, and you know you don't need you don't need it so right now we are conducting this session in Minneapolis. Yes. And uh, how far did you drive for? Well, I came from. Uh, I've been on this travel all my life to get here, but <laughs> recently from uh, the Ozarks, the beautiful Ozarks with um, the less pollution and all of the wonderful trees and the beautiful waters and springs um, mm-hmm. that, that is heaven and one of the places that has all the crystals that are I just learned that are levitating on their own and there's light coming out of them mm-hmm. that they found and nice. all kinds of crazy wild things because the energy is coming yeah yeah so it's a beautiful place long pl- long time to get here but uh, how, they gave me the energy to do it because I how long did you drive travel I mean two days uh, oh. during the day you know six hours and seven hours and eight hours you know two two days of full travel but I knew I was coming for a purpose and they helped me with the energy and staying awake and taking you did great you did great so uh, we are in Minneapolis I do travel all over the place if you want a session with me go to my website albawyman.com I do book way ahead they're very far away but it's worth it 
I think. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, I also have a newsletter that will tell you where I'm traveling to next, just like I'm traveling now. If you sign up, you go to my website, the Out of Town page on the bottom, sign up with your name and address, make sure you have your address so I know where you are, and that's how I figure out where I'm going to next. So I hope you enjoyed this video, <laughs> and uh, hope to, I get to see you sometime soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye! Wild and crazy! Give me that hug! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh.